get the show on the road. Road on the show, show on the road. Hey all, Russ here, Harveyor TV. I'm heading to Phoenix, yay. Uh, I gotta go down here. I got several things to do. One will be go to Home Depot, Walmart and all that. Then I got a YouTube thing. It's a uh, meeting I'm gonna go to this evening and get educated on some YouTube. Uh, it's a lot of the analytics and that kind of stuff I use for the channel. So I figured while I'm down here in the greater Phoenix area, I will do a little shopping, mainly stuff for the van, the van build and that kind of thing. Look at the overcast. Uh, kind of cloudy. I'm sure the camera's kind of glary. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm going to head down the road here on towards Phoenix. It's still pretty early in the morning. The cloud makes it look even earlier. Makes it look darker. Plus I have the camera dash mounted so it's you're looking through the windshield. This is Interstate 10 eastbound. And today is Wednesday, February 27th. Can't tell. Right off to the right is Scadan Wash. That's where the world famous RTR Road Too Rough is held. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera off and uh, when we get up the road a little bit, it should be a little lighter and probably better video quality. So I'll be back. Okay, we're still on Interstate 10. I thought I'd take a different route. We'll go in on Highway 60 and uh, I'll show you where the town of Brenda is and it's a huge RV uh, community there. There's several RV parks. It's kind of a cool place really. A lot of people stay there. <coughs> All right we're gonna exit here. This is uh, US Highway 60 East it says Wickenburg. We'll get off here and then we'll head on into uh, Brenda. I really like going this route instead of the interstate. Because I'm actually I'm going to Scottsdale, which is the north northern part of Phoenix. So this is just the same distance. It is two lane road, a little slower. But not really, this time of morning you can catch a major boatload of traffic going into Phoenix on the interstates. And this is just a pretty drive and I got the time so let's uh, check out Brenda up here. Right. Don't blink, you're going to miss it. <laughs> this is the tiny community of Brenda. There's really not a whole lot. There's like a store here, but the RV parks are huge. There's several, and they are very big, and a lot of people stay here annually. They'll rent their spots by the season or by the year. They can leave low sheds, and this is also ATV heaven. If you got an ATV, you want to be out here. You got access to all the trails. It's really a good place to. Uh, come and stay if you want. If you're tired of quartzite and tired of the boondocking, a lot of people come out here. There's too many to put links in, but what I'll do is I'll put a link to the Google Maps of this area right here down in the description. And you can kind of scroll around and check it out yourself. But most of the rates here are comparable to quartzite or even a little less. Uh, you do get cell phone out here and TV reception. 
But once again, this is ATVs. They are everywhere. There's one right there. The trails run alongside of the road, too. Then right up the road is, uh, next town is, uh, Salom. And, uh, that's an RV town as well. Okay, the battery in this camera is almost dying. When I get up Salome, uh, I'll, we'll replace it. So I'll be back. I'm gonna turn it off for a few. Okay, here we are. This is the big town of Salome. And a lot of, uh, farm workers live here. Agriculture is huge. They pipe in water through irrigation canals down from, uh, Lake Havasu. And there are farm fields, cattle ranches, they are massive in size. And actually this whole stretch from uh, Salome, most of the way over to Wickenburg, it's all agriculture. And actually quite a ways up towards Bows. Okay, here's the big town of Salome. I'm going to have to pull off up here and swap batteries real quick in this uh, GoPro. But you can see it, there's a couple stores, restaurants, there's a little motel. There ain't a whole lot here, but it's a cute little place to visit. Okay, fresh battery. Alright, now you've seen Salome and Brenda. We're going to continue on Highway 60. I'm going to switch off the cameras for a while. And I will be back when we get closer to Scottsdale, Arizona. Hey, hey, welcome back. We are approaching Interstate 17. We're on the very north side of Phoenix. I'm going to go down and catch the 101 loop, and we're going to head over to Scottsdale. And that's where I'm going to do my shopping, and that's where my meeting is tonight. It's called a YouTube Creator Group. And it's all about analytics and YouTube and kind of the business side of YouTube. And it's becoming mid-morning, close to 11 a.m. Okay, we're almost up to the 101, then we're going to head east again. Alright, this is the 101 East. I'm going to be exiting up here on Scottsdale Boulevard. Excuse me. I'm going to head down. Got a few stops. I'm going to hit Walmart, Home Depot. And then we'll see what happens after that. See how much time I have left after I do that. That meeting's not till 7 o'clock tonight, so I got a lot of time to kill. Alright, good time of day to be out here. You can see the traffic is not bad at all. During early morning, late in the afternoon, these roads are packed, and I mean packed full of cars and people. Okay, well, I'm almost up to the stores. There's Walmart and Home Depot and all these places. So I got some errands to do. And first stop, I think, will be Home Depot. Want to get some carpet for the van and some wood. Let's see what else. So I'll be back in a little while. Well, got everything done. So long, Home Depot, Walmart. And guess what? It's only about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, what could somebody do in Phoenix in February in the afternoon? Hmm. Let's go check it out. We'll make a right here. This is called Salt River Fields. This is part of the Talking Stick Casinos. And guess what? Major League Baseball Spring Training. There's 10 locations where you can go, come see a baseball game. 
So why not, huh? <laughs> See if this guy's gonna let me through here. He says, heck yeah. I think, I'm not sure which teams, it doesn't matter. It would just be fun to go watch. Alright, so batter up. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to travel safe. Talk soon. Take care.